Today we are going to talk about non-alcoholic steatohepatitis or non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Uh, this decade is said to be the pandemic for non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. In fact, the realization in India came little later after the Western uh, population started realizing it. Whatever we have said earlier as a cryptogenic liver disease have all been only a non-alcoholic fatty liver disease which is leading to all the complications right from hepatitis through cirrhosis to hepatocellular it has got severe implications on dietary modifications and lifestyle modifications also. So, what is this non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, otherwise fatty liver disease? It's a fat deposit in the liver. Does it really affect you and how does it affect you? It does affect you significantly and because of the infiltration of fat into the liver, it causes stiffening of the liver which can be often diagnosed or very early uh, detected by the uh, presence of fibroscan equipment which gives you the uh, liver stiffness measurement and anything more than 7 appears to be abnormal. The important uh, tool, uh, the fibroscan, helps us to reverse the uh, fibrosis if detected at the earliest stage and probably this may be a very early tool to understand why this is happening and how it can be reversed. What are the other causes? If you are overweight or obese and if you continue to be obese for a longer period of time, your liver is going to get more infiltration of the fat. And does it have a correlation with your blood lipids? Unlikely, very less likely. Are you a smoker? You are likely to get it. Are you a diabetic for a long time? You are likely to get it. Are you overweight? You are likely to get it. Are you in a sedentary lifestyle? You are likely to get it. Are you on multiple drugs? You are likely to have fatty liver disease. This is what we understand as of now. So how do you treat it? The number one and important point is that achieve an adequate reduction in the weight. Try to uh, get a BMI of 21 and get into a very active lifestyle and uh, this modification. Resort to a very healthy diet and eat well, sleep well, uh, think well and be active. Keep a healthy liver. Mm -hmm.